Hello, welcome to The Wrestling Show. I'm Doc Allen, and it's been a minute. How is everyone doing? Um, as you might have noticed, that the station, or channel, whatever, has been kind of on a hiatus over the past few months. And that's largely because I've kind of been in a wrestling funk. I haven't really had the enthusiasm to keep up with things very closely. But my interest is starting to tick up again. I have... Um, resumed watching Dynamite, and I'm on board for the Ring of Honor relaunch, and that's kind of it right now. I haven't quite had the enthusiasm to pick up Impact or GCW at this time, but we'll see how the summer continues to to roll on. Um, I'm not going to have a lot of time for this station because we have some vacations coming up, but hopefully... Uh, things will get rolling again. So today I'm here because I just received the newest All Elite crate in the mail. And a couple things from this crate has been spoiled for me by Twitter. Because it seems like a lot of other people got their crates a couple days before I did. But most of this is going to be a fresh surprise. So let's see what the wrestling gods have in store for me this month. All right, we got the spoiler card and some information about what should be in the next crate. And the first thing we've got is a t-shirt. Let's see what we have here. And it is a pretty snazzy CM Punk shirt from the dog collar match for, with MJF. Um, so actually, I saw the shirt photographed online this week. I didn't know that it was the All Elite Crate shirt. I just thought it was some other punk shirt that had come out. So this is kind of a semi-surprise, and I'm kind of happy to get it. It's actually a very well-printed shirt with uh, a lot of detail to his tattoos. So... I find the All Elite Crate shirts to be of a particularly high quality. So hopefully I'll have a chance to wear that in public sometime soon. Okay, our next item. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just confused. So it appears to be... Let me see through the plastic on this. It says the acclaimed, and I think they're earbuds. So, kind of an odd, kind of an odd thing to throw in, but it's got some novel value to it. Okay, <laughs> that one's kind of uh, me. We'll see. Next, we have another T-shirt. Okay. It's a DMD shirt with a yep, Britt Baker and the doctor will see you now. I'm not sure if this is supposed to kind of look like the old school raw logo at the top or if I'm, it's just my imagination reaching, but it's a pretty nifty shirt and. I kind of did want to get a Brit shirt eventually. It just wasn't, hadn't found the right shirt. So this takes care of that. All right, next we have stickers, or the sticker, and it's Proud and Powerful, who, if um, you believe internet rumors, they are on the outs with each other. So this might be a good keepsake for memories. <laughs> and next. Oh yeah, I heard about this. This is a, a Malachi black pen. And I believe if I were to open this up, um, this little mask here is magnetic and it comes off to reveal Malachi's handsome mug underneath. So 
I'm not sure I'm going to open this right away because I think it might have some more value unopened, but that's pretty cool. Now, next we have an all elite keychain, and this one's pretty charming. It's a little vinyl jade cargill. So, <laughs> again, I can't see myself opening this because I kind of just like the novelty of having a potential collector's item like this uh, sealed in, but I don't know, I think it's cute. But maybe I'm getting soft in my old age. And then we have a micro brawler. And it's Evil Uno. Another very well done little vinyl toy. I wasn't really like crazy about the concept of these micro brawlers when I first learned about them. But I have to say they have kind of won me over. And again, it's a lot of the, um, the very fine little details that they put into them. So, cool. Ah, uh, now here's the thing I that got spoiled for me, but I was pretty excited about, and that was the um, Volume 2 Best of AEW Dark, and this one has the Lights Out match between Kenny Omega and Joey Janela that I was really surprised was not on the first set, <laughs> so... Um, I haven't opened the first set yet because, again, like all the matches are available e easily enough on YouTube. And it's kind of a nice collector's item. So I, I don't think I'm going to open this right away. So I might be turning into a bit of a shelf collector, but I'm really happy to have this. I think this makes these um, crates worth it by themselves. Oh, next we have a poster, and this is something else that I saw online this week, and I didn't know it was from the crate. I just happened to see a picture of it. So this is a poster um, commemorating the first All Out pay-per-view when we didn't know if who the first AEW World Champion was going to be, you know, pretty, pretty clearly it should have been Jericho, and it was Jericho. As Hangman's Chase made it worth all the while. So that's pretty cool. Maybe I can get a frame for that. Though I'm not exactly bursting with wall space right now. Okay. And lastly, we have the autograph. And this did not get spoiled for me. So this will be a pleasant surprise, whoever it is. Oh, and this is very nice. It is Wardlow, the new TNT champion. I think this could go on to be a great autograph to have if his star trajectory keeps rising. So, no, it's not bad at all. Um, I think the best gets this month were the t-shirts, the DVD, and that autograph. Um, actually, I think everything in this set was pretty nice except... Maybe the acclaimed earbuds, <laughs> if that's what they are. I'll have to take a closer look at that later when I'm not recording. Um, so, what can I say? I really like this crate, and it's quarterly. It's the only crate that I've kept, and I think I'm going to keep it for the foreseeable future because these crates have wonderful value, and they're a ton of fun to open. And... A lot of the stuff that they're sending out should uh, age really well. So I'm a happy customer. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Um, I'm still active on Twitter at Samoa Row. And um, you can check out the wrestling site for uh, my reviews and Scrooge's reviews. Um, I, I, you should start seeing more content dropping on a regular basis from here on out. So, hope you're all having a great summer. Stay safe. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Peace. Mm -hmm.